Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about something that millions of people every day deal with, and that is buffering when you are streaming. There's reasons why you're buffering. We're gonna to touch on that, and I'm gonna come up with a solution for you. You can get rid of the buffering. No more of that, guys. Let's get right to it. Let's go. All right, so really quickly, let's talk about what buffering is. So buffering is when you're watching something, streaming it, and it freezes. Maybe you're watching Netflix and it freezes. It pauses for a while, comes back on later. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it freezes. You have to restart the program. Extremely frustrating and I completely get it and I understand I've been through it. A lot of people have been through it. I don't deal with it anymore and I'll talk about why that is. So in order to effectively stream anything in today's society, you need to have a router that is designed for streaming. Unfortunately, the internet service providers do not provide those. So if you are like nine out of 10 people that are using the router that the internet service provi provider gives you, you're gonna have problems. It's just bottom line, you're gonna have problems. You're not gonna get the speed that you pay for. You're not gonna get the proper signals, the stability that you need to actually stream because it's not just speed, it's stability that makes streaming effective. And the internet service providers don't give you routers that do that. They give you routers that are designed for computing so that you can send an email, you can get your work done and send it off. Uh, mostly upload, not necessarily download. And that's what streaming is, is downloading. So let me talk to you really quickly about what I have done, what I've been through. So I started with that internet service provider uh, router, had issues, called them up, they sent a tech in, tech came, said, oh, well, what are you doing with it? And I said, well, you know, I'm streaming, you know, Netflix, Hulu, stuff like that. Um, and he said, this is not the router for you. You're actually paying for a gig service, but this router can only handle so much data. It's usually under 100 megabits per second. And if you're further away from that router, you're gonna get even worse signal. He actually suggested I try a different router. So doing research and being a tech guy that I am, I went out and I did research, found out that with the size of my home and the way that my walls are designed, I really need a mesh system. So what I did is I went out and I got the Rockspace mesh. It was the most affordable option out there. And you can add up to as many nodes as you want. Now these are called little nodes. Now you could put these throughout your house, get a full mesh experience. Good thing about that, stable signal everywhere in the house. Bad thing about it, Rockspace does not necessarily have the fastest speeds. So for me, it eliminated 99% of the buffering because I had nodes everywhere. So no matter where I was up to, I think it was like 6,000 square feet, I was able to get a stable signal. So most of the time I didn't buffer with apps like Netflix, Hulu. But when you start doing other kinds of streaming, maybe from the web or from um, and IPTV, something like that, I found that I was still buffering. So that led me to right now. So one of my subscribers actually recommended this router right here. This is the Rayi AX3200. And the reason why I recommended it was because it is like a mesh system. So it uses a technology called omnidirectional. So this will get through walls, through ceilings, through basements, in every direction. And in addition to that, it has a little button that you can click that will sync all of your wireless routers in your building. So if you have a business with lots of uh, rooms and you need service to every one of those rooms, or you have a bit larger house that you need to get service and everything, it actually connects to the other routers, which creates a real mesh signal. But one more thing, it has Wi-Fi 6. So you're gonna get that latest technology. If you have the newest Fire Stick or Android box, you actually can stream in the fastest speeds with this. So you're gonna get a good base. That's super important. You're getting a good base speed and then you can connect it off to the other routers or just leave it as is. I think this covers about 3,000 square feet. So in today's video, I'm gonna run a test. I'm gonna run a test. I still have my old router that the internet service provider gave me. I'm gonna connect that back up. I'm gonna run a speed test. Then I'm gonna connect up my mesh router, run a speed test. Then I'm going to hook up this guy and do a speed test. I've already tested it once and I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna be surprised with the results and even more surprised at the price really affordable. I was shocked when I first got it. I wasn't expecting much, but you're going to see the difference in today's video. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. So I went ahead and set up the original router. Um, and now this thing here, I have not used for months, maybe even a year, to be honest with you, but uh, I still have it. So I went ahead and hooked it up, running the test now. So let's see what it does. Now, again, this is what they gave me, and I am one room away, and I, I want you to know that I, I didn't want to do it right next to the router. I wanted to do it one room away from the router so we could see how it works getting through walls. Um, 
that's most important. Now, this is where a mesh really is an advantage is it goes around walls. It goes to different nodes. Um, and so here, as we can see, I got 72 megabits per second, which is actually twice as fast as I got when I initially had this router set up. So sometimes resetting your router or resetting your modem definitely makes a difference with your speed, but it's temporary. 72 mega, 72.1 download, that's what you're looking for for streaming. 28.3 upload, that's where you're talking about computing, where you're sending emails, your uh, stuff like that, uploading to YouTube. That's what the upload is, but your download is what you are looking for for streaming. So remember that number, 72.1 is what we got with the original router. Now let's go ahead and test out the mesh system. Again, this is the Rockspace mesh. It's the one I've been using. All right, we got it all set up. Let's go ahead and run the test. And really easy setup, guys. All I have to do to switch between routers is unplug the one, plug the other one back in, because I have them all set up already. You can set these up with the apps, or you can set them up directly on the web, which makes it really nice. And that goes for the new router as well. The easiest setup you're ever going to do. It's insane. It actually walks you right through the whole process. All right, so as you can see, I got 95.7. Again, 95.7 on the download. So streaming, I'm one room away. It's about 1,000 square foot away from the router, and I've already gotten an incredible improvement. So with that speed, I can run 4K no problem, and I haven't had any problems with this mesh. Now, this mesh, of course, is... is huge advantage when you go further than that 3,000 square feet away or you're in a basement or an attic i'm just one room away so i want this to be a fair test all throughout all right now i've got the ray e ax 3200 hooked up now this thing is supposed to have that wi-fi 6 so it's going to have the fastest signal possible so let's go ahead and run the test check it out wow it already jumped up way up over 300 megabits per second guys this is the same exact modem a same exact signal that i'm using and i'm in the same location as the other two just shows you how great this router really is this is pretty impressive i uh, did not expect that in fact when i ran a test earlier on this and ran uh, did some streaming just to test this thing i was getting about well it was in it was in the basement so it's pretty far but i was still getting over 200 i was impressed with that uh, one room away 325 megabits per second even the uploads faster at 37.9 so you're going to get computing speed improvement as well pretty impressive. So I left everything plugged in up there. I'm going to, I just wanted to show this to you, talk about some of the features on here, but I'm going to put this right back up there. I'm not using the Rockspace anymore. I'm not using any of the others. You can connect this to other wireless routers. So I could have my extenders and routers hooked up to this and extend that signal just like I could with the mesh system, but with a more stable starting base point, which is what this is really fast. It has the omnidirectional signal. So you don't even need to use routers but you can which is kind of cool and in addition to that it does have it looks like three ports on the back of here that you can actually connect hardwired into this so you if you have like a main server room that you want to run the fastest speeds whatsoever if you're uploading something or whatever you have the ability to connect up to three devices to this uh, which is awesome and it also advertises that you could put 110 different devices connected to this um, and I read somewhere um, in the reviews of this that somebody tested it with 78 connections streaming at the same time and it kept the same signal. I was impressed. So this thing right here definitely passes the test. I appreciate products like this being recommended out to me from our viewers. It's really important that all of us have the latest technology out there. Um, and I know there's going to be people out there that ask about this Wi-Fi 6 technology. It is the newest router technology. Not all devices take advantage of it, but the cool thing about this router is that it can be downgraded. So if you have, let's just say for example, you're using an older Fire TV stick that does not have Wi-Fi 6. The new 4K Max does, but if you have an older 4K or one of the older ones, it'll still work with this router just fine. In fact, it'll be faster with this router and I've found that to be the case. But if you do have the Wi-Fi, the, the uh, 4K Max, it's going to be even better. Uh, if you have an Android box that's not Wi-Fi 6, it'll still work with this, guys. This just has the advantage to upscale to it or downscale to where you are. So this is a router not just for now but for the future. And I am shocked that 9 out of 10 people out there are still using the router that the Internet company gives you. You know they charge you for that? I think mine was costing me $5 a month. Uh, the tech that came out to my house was like, we're going to stop charging you for that. It's junk. You, you, you could do better. And I appreciated the honesty that the tech from the internet service provider gave me because uh, 100%, you think that you pay for their service, you're going to get the best equipment, but you're not. This is a really good one. And I'm going to test a few other routers out, but if I'm getting 325 megabits per second, 1,000 square feet away from this wirelessly, 
I mean, what can you not stream with that? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I put links to this in the description section of this video where I got it. It's available on Amazon. I just want to make sure you get the right one. Um, sometimes they run specials, so I'll put any codes, discount codes in the description section of this video as well so you can get the best price in this. You won't believe how inexpensive it is. To get the performance that you get, I'm blown away. Um, I mean, I highly recommend it. I like doing videos like this. If you like seeing videos on, like this, reviews on tech products, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. For those of you returning to my channel, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.